John 16, verse 23. Jesus said, and in that day, <clears throat> you shall ask me nothing. Verily, verily. Oh, there it is again. Okay. I say unto you, whatsoever you shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it you. Now, see, Jesus said, listen, while you're here, whatever you ask in my name, I will do it. But that was while he was with them. But then he said, in that day. Notice that's what he says right there. And in that day. What day is that day? That's this day. This day is that day. Amen. He said, and in that day, why? What day? The day when he wasn't here physically because he went to the Father. He sent the comforter back. And he said, in that day, you shall ask me nothing. Verily, verily, I say unto you, whatsoever you shall ask the Father. So there's the answer to the question. Do we pray to Jesus or do we pray to the Father? To the Father in Jesus' name. As if Jesus were praying. When, when you pray in his name, mean believing on him and in his name, you're praying in his stead. And just as if Jesus were praying it, he's praying it, or the Father hears it prayed by Jesus. Why? Because he's your intercessor. So you're asking the Father, but Jesus hears it and says, yes. Do you understand? I'm not, I'm not saying that's exactly what happens. I'm just saying you're going through Jesus in that sense. And the Father says, and if Jesus, you think if Jesus asked a, asked a prayer, do you think it'd be fulfilled? Yes. Absolutely. So if you ask in his name, it's in his stead. And in his authority, in his power, you're asking it, and the Father will give it. Why? Because it's just like Jesus speaking. Do you get that? Why? Because of position. Remember that. Get you off your mind. Recognize it's no longer you that live, but Christ who lives in you. So whenever you're praying, it's him praying through you, right? And he adds to that, and he's your intercessor. And then he goes to the Father and delivers it. And the Father says, done, and it's done. Amen? So you ask the Father in the name of Jesus. Amen? Now, notice this. Whatsoever you shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it you. Hitherto have you asked nothing in my name. Why? This is John 16. He said, up to now, you had not asked anything in my name. You've asked me. Because he said, whatever you ask, I will do it. Isn't that right? But he said, up to now, you've just asked me. From now on, in that day, then you're not going to ask me anymore. Now watch. He says, in that day, hitherto, you've asked nothing in my name. Ask and you shall receive, that your joy may be full. These things have I spoken unto you in Proverbs, but the time comes when I shall no more speak unto you in Proverbs, but I shall show you plainly of the Father. And at that day, at that day, you shall ask in my name, and I say not unto you that I will pray the Father for you. Because see, that's what he was doing at that point. But now at that point, now as our intercessor, he does pray the Father for us. Do you get that? But whenever you're asking these things, it is to the Father because you're asking the Father. Now, what does that mean? If you're going to ask the Father in Jesus' name, what does that mean? That means, number one, you're not praying to Mary. <laughs> he, Jesus said nothing about asking Mary for anything. He said, you talk to me, you talk to him. Now I'm here with you. I'll do it. When, when in that day, you're going to talk directly to him. You go right to the Father. Why? Wow, you have the same access to the Father that I have. Isn't that what he said? Amen. That by grace, through faith, we have access unto God. Isn't that right? Amen. So we don't need the saints praying for us. Right. You've got one intercessor that prays for you. That's Jesus. But you don't need to pray and ask anybody else for anything else. Is that right? Amen. So we need to realize that. Matter of fact, if, listen, if you're going to pray to anybody else but the Father, even in Jesus' name, they're not going to hear you. They're, 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 well, they might hear you. I, I don't know. It doesn't say they won't. But they're not going to answer you. Why? Because that's not their job. Do you get that? They're in that great cloud of witnesses, but that's not their job. They have no legal standing to pray for you or to go to the Father in your stead. Jesus did that. Amen? Amen? People say, well, how come my prayers aren't answered? Well, first off, who are you praying to? Secondly, what name are you praying in? Amen? Yeah. And then after that, what are you praying for? Because sometimes you pray and ask amiss, and you don't receive because you're asking for the wrong thing. Now, now, now understand, you can pray and ask for the wrong thing, and the Father will not give it. But you can say the wrong thing, and it will come to pass in your life. Why? Because you believed in your heart and said with your mouth. There's a difference between praying and saying. Amen? I'll be honest with you. Well, 
some things you say for and some things you pray for. Amen? And you have to learn the difference between them. And especially anything that's already done, you don't have to pray for that. You have to believe that, receive it, walk it. It's that simple. Isn't that easy? Yeah. Just like Jesus did. All you have to do is look at Jesus' life and look how he spent his time praying and what he did. All right? Now, 